Everybody, how you doing? It's Trent Austin from Austin Custom Brass. I'm here in the shop on a Sunday getting some videos done. Hope you're doing well and to all the dads out there, happy Father's Day. Thank you so much for all you do. Uh, this horn just came in and Kyle has uh, worked on it and made it just so wonderful. This is an old super and the trumpet actually is super. As you can hear how clean that is. We think of Olds as having so many great horns. We think of, of course, I have in my collection some super recordings, amazing trumpets, but the super is really close to the level of the super recording and some people actually like it more than the old super recording because it has a little bit more resistance in general. This horn is a, a fairly early one from, it's still, Los Angeles era, although the serial number is later, so I'm not sure that this is in a uh, Fullerton body and a Los Angeles bell, to be perfectly honest. I can't remember when they moved, um, but this horn came to us from a uh, collection, and it is uh, it was in kind of gross cosmetic shape before, and we have done a beautiful brush job on it. So you can see some cosm there's one cosmetic, uh, uh, fault in the bell from a previous repair, but it still is, was done well. And there's like a couple of pox, like there's a pock mark here. We've tested everything. The compression is great. In fact, the compression on the valves, let me show you a valve. Look at that valve. I suspect that these are rebuilt because it is perfectly tight. I'll pull out the second valve slide and you can hear it actually. So hold on, let me put this valve back in and I'll pull out that. Tons of pop. This horn plays like that too. It's really crisp, it's really clean. It's got a great front on the, the articulated sound. So let me play some more on it. There we go. Just awesome responsiveness. And maybe it's because I played so many olds with poor valve compression. This <laughs> valve compression is awesome. And it does really show that. It really pops. Just like right there.
you would say probably most people who are buying this old Super doesn't have a first valve slide. They never did. Uh, well, the early ones did actually. I shouldn't say that. Most of them didn't. Um, and it has an adjustable ring. So a lot of people who are buying this are more commercial jazz oriented players. Although this horn would be a great horn for classical mouth uh, playing. I'll put a slightly larger mouthpiece in so you could hear that. Sorry, if you are looking for an incredible professional trumpet though, and you don't wanna spend four grand, this horn is incredibly well-priced and plays its butt off. This is the old stu uh, super, sorry, it's been a long day already. Please take a moment, thank you again for watching these videos, of course. Please take a moment, hit that subscribe button up there, keep up to date with us, and again, thank you so much for all you do for ACB. We can't do it without you. Cheers.